You've seen me shooting a lot of videos lately with this phone. I know you're tired of that, guys. Let's get back to this camera and the editing board, huh? <laughs> Let's do it, man. Welcome back. <laughs> hey, welcome back to LogFurnitureHowTo.com. My name's Mitchell Dillman. It's been a while, huh? Today, I've got to weld up two sets of rocking chairs. It's the standard thing. You've seen me do it a thousand times. But today, I'm going to show you a couple of little simple tricks that I've learned to make it, well, to make it simple. <laughs> when you roll this tubing, this round tubing, it starts out round. But as you get the radius, it actually becomes an oval. It's no longer exactly round. So I use a piece of this cutoff to mark all these. And guys, we actually cut our legs, notch and cut our legs before we even weld them up. It's just much easier. So we'll use a piece of this cutoff, determine which our front and rear legs are. And then we need to notch appropriately. There's more notch coming out of the front than the rear. And I can demonstrate that right here with one that we've already welded together. all that right here before we weld this stuff up. Okay guys, and as you know, we've got a front leg and a rear leg. So there's a front of the front leg, a rear of the front leg, front of the rear leg, and rear of the rear leg. So we need to mark all of these appropriately. So that's how we mark these things up, guys. I'm not going to take time here to cut these now. If you haven't seen it already, click this link right here. I've got another video that I showed you how to use your angle grinder to achieve these cuts. But since we've already got these set up, we're well, going to set those aside and move on to the next tip. So you've had plenty of time to watch my video. You've got your legs cut out, rough cut, framework welded together. The next step's pretty simple. Here I'm using a piece of angle iron on the edge of my table. This is the easiest way I've found to temporarily hold your rock in place while you tap together your frame. Okay, next we're going to get our legs set. Take a little more out. That's what we're looking for right there. Now, back here, it's still a good gap. Let's get this tacked up and I'll show you the trick to that.
Now it's just a matter of taking a hammer. Bending it right down in the metal. Here, let's do this one. Now you'll still have just a little bit to fill there, but not near as much. Check it out. So I'm going to keep you up, guys. I'm going to get the other set made, get them all welded up, and ready to finish. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to click subscribe, but I'm coming back at the same time next week for another regularly edited video like this one. Maybe some other ones in between, though. Thanks for watching. longfurniturehowto.com for complete blueprints and do-it-yourself kits. Have a great week. This has been Mitchell Dillman with logfurniturehowto.com. We'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah.